Hey, church, we're here in the church garden. It is a, just a beautiful place. I hope you can come and just walk through. Right now in spring, a lot of things are blooming. It looks gorgeous. Today, I just want to share a scripture that really touched me when I was uh, looking at it the other day. It's about the life of Jesus and compassion. Luke 7, 7 11, just like the store. Soon afterwards, Jesus went to a city called Nain, and his disciples were going along with him, accompanied by a large crowd. Now, as he approached the gate of the city, a dead man was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and a big crowd from the city was with her. When the Lord saw her, he felt compassion for her and said to her, Do not weep. And he came up and touched the coffin, and the bearers came to a halt. And he said, young man, I say to you, arise. The dead man sat up and began to speak. And Jesus gave him back to his mother. Fear gripped them all and they began glorifying God saying, a great prophet has arisen among us and God has visited his people. What a great story. One of the people, I th uh, there's a bunch of People actually in the New Testament and the Old who were raised from the dead, other than obviously Jesus. But what strikes me about this is compassion. You know, when you have a need, appeal to God's compassion. Because Jesus was moved so many times, the Bible says, by compassion. What is compassion? It means literally the word means to suffer with. It means to feel upset about something, about a need, a problem, a difficulty. And I tell you, I have something I'm really praying hard now personally that really bothers me and I'm appealing to God's compassion. And I'd encourage you, if you have a need, maybe a loved one who's going the wrong direction, a sickness, appeal to God's compassion because that always moved, moves him because Jesus is compassionate. The reason he came down to earth is really what? Compassion. He came in, uh, into our earthly form, a person's form as as God, of course, he was fully God, fully human. And what drove him to do that was his compassion. And as so uh, you'll never go wrong appealing to God's compassion and God's mercy. The other thing that strikes me about this is that we being Christians, Christ-like ones, should feel that same compassion, of course. We see that Jesus, when he saw this very sad situation of a woman who lost her only son and would uh, typically in that day go into very pov very poor destitution. He felt sorry for her. And we, as we look at a world of need, and there is need everywhere, all of us have needs, things going on. You scratch beneath the surface, you'll find everybody's got a health need, a financial need, a relative who's going the wrong direction or something major like that. But let's, let's ask God, God, help me to feel the compassion that Jesus felt. So the bottom line here is appeal to God's compassion because he's a compassionate and merciful God. Amen. Just two things wanted to mention coming up this week. Hope you can be with us Sunday. I'm finishing up this series on our identity in Christ. I've so much enjoyed it. I've learned so much myself. And I'm going to talk about what it means to be made in the image of God. This is a solution for so many problems we see in our society, the fact that all of us are made in the image of God. I think you'll find that interesting. And then next week, I'm starting out this series on prophecy. I've had so many people ask me, what do you think about this, that, and the other? There's a sense that the prophetic calendar has been sped up by the virus, which I think is true. And so I'll be hitting a different topic each week, starting out with heaven something real upbeat. What is heaven like? The, the Bible has a lot to say about heaven and hell. Hell will be the week after, uh, after that, but I uh, hope you can come out a week from Sunday for that as well. It's been great seeing people back. We saw a number of people back last Sunday we hadn't seen in church since, I guess, since the beginning of the quarantine, at least for a very long time, and hope you can come back if at all possible, because we're better together. God bless you. We love you and thank God that he's a God of compassion.